Panda.
I told him to oh wait, I was here. I told him to go to the stage against Sheik. So it looks like he's taking my advice, but he is not taking my winning advice. Was good up to oh it was, he has really good um follow ups whenever he does his vertical stuff. That was good. That whole like kill sequence there was good. Um okay, good. There we go. Okay. But it's actually like not no, that was good. Like DI out DI DI out tech in is like kind of bad because it's easy to react to for Sheik. So you only want to do that like usually after a really long sequence. Um, immediate high side B is also caught by like a lot of Sheik's nares when she throws Fox off stage. Um, okay, that was good. That was good. No, no, that was gonna get out. Ledge dash. Mojo dash. I don't know. Okay, makes it makes it work. Um, what's it called? Full hopping on the corner is kind of scary there. I know Ryo is big on full hops, but that's where it can get kind of scary. Oh, that was kind of, that was deep. Um, oh, did he die? No, okay. <laughs> he should grab ledge. He should grab ledge. Oh, no. Always want to grab ledge against Sheik. If only to force her to, like, do something you know she's going to do, which is not go on the ledge. Oh, that was pretty bad DI. It worked out. For real. Um. Ooh, grab ledge. Ah, he's playing well though. He's doing this full hop back air thing that is completely impossible for Sheik to ever deal with. Oh, if you can do that. Just don't get antsy. Okay, that's good. Up air. He doesn't miss those. Ah, let's get a little antsy now. Because up smash won't even kill. Um. Oh no. Choke. Hey Josh. Okay, yeah, good. Nice. Gets the kill. That was well played. He has had some good up smashes that game. For price tag, um, I think he could benefit from... I don't know, like... I feel like he's kind of going in a lot. I haven't been watching him as closely. I'll watch him more this game. So being on the platforms against Fox is usually kind of scary because Fox just has good ways of getting Sheik off. And vice versa, honestly. Um, most of the time, like these characters want to play on the ground, but these guys are playing very much not on the ground. Um, Fox can back air, Sheik can back air or forward air. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you guys hit that. It is kind of a weird tech to hit because they can either back air immediately or delay the back air like Price Tag did. So it's like kind of weird. Oh no. Uh, he needs to, he's he's insta jumping every time. He can mix us up by like waiting, shine stalling, or like. I mean, that's pretty much your option. Shine stall, um, DI into the back throw, shine stall is a really good option. Like, Sheik has to make a hard commit in order to beat that. Um, that's 
back here. Ah, grab ledge. He needs to he needs to grab ledge in these situations where Sheik is like barely off stage. Because that'll give him a free hit. Oh nice. That's a good read. Oh, is he alive? Yeah. Um because that's what like that's how you force your advantage as she as Fox is you're able to get these stray hits because every time she goes to she has to go to the ledge that should be like a free um, aerial for you. That was really nice. Price tag is getting hurt but item log is getting very good up smashes the time I've been watching. That was nice. Shouldn't go for down tilt at this percent, it won't do anything. Um, Fox is in CC mode. The Rile CCs are not bad. Uh, we could do it more though. Very nice. Okay, grab ledge. Oh, that was awesome! Yes, that was awesome. I would not have done that, but Ryle's the shine spike man, so he did it and it worked out. He always goes high with the side B. Oh, that was kind of weird. Worked out. Okay, don't go high side B. Oh no. Okay, uh, right there, price tag can CC, and then if he sees that Ryle's going to ledge, he can like interrupt him. Oh, that was cool. Um, you can CC Fox's up B at that percent and then just hit him out. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. Price tag is shook. Okay, so let's see if Ryle can carry that, like, instant momentum gain. Because that was a big swing. Killing Sheik at, like, 17 on Dreamland is, like, a big swing. This is also kind of a weird stage to counterpick to when you have Battlefield and Fountain. But some Sheik's just like the stage. Okay. So Ryle's trying to take it slow. Maybe stay on the platforms. Do some full hops. Okay. How does this go? Okay. Up smash is a little bit weird at that percent, because it doesn't lead to anything, even if it hits, but I don't know. I think, oh, I think back air could have been better here. Oh, that was... Even if that back air, or that down air, hit his shield, it was not a good option. Oh, no! <gasps> Fastball. All right, so... Now, game five. So, I would expect Fountain. It's just like a common, like, sheet last resort option. Um, is back to Dreamland? Maybe? I don't know. I just don't. I don't understand some of these, these new age sheep means. Go right into it. Um, item Hogs um, staying back more. He wants to, like, kind of get some stray hits. Uh, no, don't get too. Yeah. You can't get too ambitious. Um, but gr getting a, a grab against Sheik when she's below, like, 5%. You can't really do a whole lot. Um, I guess price tag kind of his because he's at a lower port priority, which you want to be against Sheik. You always want to get port four against Sheik if you're playing Fox um, because it gives you easier up air follow ups. Oh no. See, I think what happened there with Item Hog is that he tried to go for a JC grab, but like when you know you're going to get the grab, like out of a Sheik thing, just like go for a regular running grab. You don't have to like. Like, even worry about messing it up because you know where the Sheik is going to be. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was a good angle. Nice to like ready for the ledge. Yep. There we go. It looks like, um, oh, that was good. Price tag is figuring out that Item Hog has difficulties getting off of the ledge. And Sheik is a character. Oh, that was cute. Grab ledge. Grab ledge. Just grab ledge. Yep. Yeah, and then, uh, no, that bear doesn't kill yet. Not for at least another like 10% at that position. Yeah, price tag at the DI. You want to back air there if you're like gonna do that. Want to back air them off stage, and then you can like F smash them if they pops it or something. Okay, so price tag is getting good. Okay. Yes. I can't believe you lived that. That was crazy. <laughs> Uh, up there, up there. Oh no, that one is kind of difficult, but you gotta, you gotta hit those. Cause now, I don't know. She isn't used. Okay, that was good. That was a harder one to hit than the first one. It worked out. Um, this is a kind of scary percent for Fox though, cause she can just hold down and like tilt and down smash all day until she gets the kill against Fox. Oh, that was a good angle. Price tag is kind of like flooding at these weird edge guards. Um, Whenever Ryle isn't going for like the immediate side B, I feel like price tag is sort of struggling. I like the idea there. Um, I would have forward tilted too. Oh nice. Yeah, he goes through these like 
like aggressive forward areas, whereas a lot of players would just big dash back to ledge back here. Um, it's kind of worked out for him, but it also like has burned him a couple times. So we'll see. If he keeps it up. Okay. See, like these up smashes. What are, what are these up smashes gonna accomplish if they hit? Like, I guess they get price tag in the air, and then item hog wants to shark him. But like, like right now, he just like di is back on stage. It's not that hard to get back on stage from that, usually. Uh, okay, works out. Grab wedge. Just grab wedge. Okay, now. No. He doesn't kill yet. Uh, you gotta go for back air. Or, like, jump on stage, up smash if you're fast enough. Or, late, or ledge dash, up smash. Um, all those are good, good options. Fighting nerd. Neither of these players are, like, ledge dashing very much, but I would say that they're doing like an okay job of getting off of ledge. They're just like kind of smartly doing get ups of some sort or aerialing on and oh no. Oh, that was a good jump away. Grab ledge. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's rough. Alright, we'll have to make it play now. Thank you. 
got some uh, chic versus Luigi. I, uh, <laughs> I uh, actually really don't like this matchup, but I think it is good. <laughs> I think it is good for the Sheik, of course. I think most matchups at this tier difference are good for Sheik. Uh, so usually as Sheik, I don't know who's banning first. I assume Leon is banning first. Uh, yeah, you want to ban that one. You want to ban Fountain. Well, I don't know. Banning Dreamland is good because a lot of Luigi's like having space. Um, banning FD is good for a similar reason. And usually having like three platforms that you can like use Sheik's quickness against, or quickness as, is good. Okay, so we ban Fountain. Ah, I don't really agree with that. Because now they're definitely going to go FD, which is probably Leon's strongest counter pick. Um, it just gives him the most options. Uh, like, Sheik can't really... Luigi definitely cannot um, use the platforms well against Sheik, but, like, Sheik can usually use them pretty well against Luigi. Not the best, but pretty well. Um, so let's see how this goes. <laughs> yep, I do it a lot. So, uh, if Sheik just tries to, like, War of Attrition Luigi on the ground, it's usually kind of hard. She, because Luigi has good CCs and he has an air CC where he can just air out of everything. Uh, so we'll see. Okay, that was good. It's so like right there. Oh, that was really nice. Yeah, he should just grab ledge. He should. Okay. Worked too. Um. Oh, nice. Yeah, Luigi actually has a pretty insane punish game on Sheik, depending on what movie hits it with. And like a lot of Sheik's panic when they get hit with a Lu hit by a Luigi. Yeah, see, like there, price tag is gonna have to learn the hard way in this uh, best of five that you have to like space your combo moves on Luigi because, like, right there, that was fine because forward air is usually pretty safe. But like, depending on the move that you use, after you use it, oh, that was really good. Wow, um, that was really good too. You could have just forward air on stage, but. He, uh, Okay, I was hearing from Face Troll that you don't want to, um, like, jump back back air Luigi unless you, like, purely want to build percent. Because if they DI it right, which isn't that hard to do, speaking of DI right, you want to DI that up. Um, if they DI it right, then they're just going to gain height slowly. So if you have a Luigi that you know is going to live the back air, you want to wait and try to hit them with the forward air like Price Tag has been doing. Um, Marth killing is good. Oh, that was that was good. You want to like generally be prepared for a misfire. Um, like, don't put yourself in a situation where a misfire will just like hit you and kill you. Um, Price tag was doing good there. He's charging needles like while Luigi got back, and then was able to get like a weak hit, you know, in a bad position. Um, so let's see. Nice. Alright, that's alright. Not the best. See, like. Luigi can do a lot of these like CC, like wave dash and CC down smashes into like an aerial. And that's where the matchup gets kind of, that's where the matchup gets kind of weird is because Luigi actually has like this pretty good combo set up. So we got to see how price tag navigates around that. Um, you can use needles. You can like kind of shut it out with tilts if you time them right. Or you can just wait till after the down smash, like kind of jump above. And if they down smash, you can get an aerial out. Um, Oh, that was kind of cute. Um, oh, you want to get out of there? Oh, I jumped in. Okay, yeah. So that was a pretty, like, it didn't look that bad because it's just Luigi up tilting, but that was a like, pretty hard combo. Like, hard damaging. Okay, that was good. Price Tank is doing a very good job of edge guarding Luigi. Oh no, don't want to do that. Spoke too soon. But the Nair was a good idea. Because it hits him hard and at a pretty good angle. Okay, so no, no. You pretty much can never combo Luigi at these percents, so you want to like, like, back air in such a way that he's gonna be in a bad position afterwards. Oh, what the? Okay. I don't know how that didn't hit. So this should be. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. That's weird. So Price Tag has two pretty good counter picks here. In Battlefield and Yoshi's, they both allow Sheik to play aggressively and 
uh, Leon one. They allow Sheik to play aggressively and and defensively at the same time while kind of denying Luigi's ability to overwhelm her. Battlefield is particularly nice because Yoshi is sometimes like, you know, Luigi can go across the entire stage and like kill you really early off of the edge guards. Like it can be kind of overwhelming. So Battlefield is a good like place to kind of go to learn the, like how you want to execute your game plan. Because it's game five, you know, or game five. It's best of five. So Price Tag has another counter pick even if he like loses a, another game, so he can try out Yoshi's. Um, uh, no. What? No, I'm good. That was a good sequence. I kind of missed it, but I trust it was good. Uh, Price tag does a lot of these um, aerials when when uh, coming back to the stage. I don't know offhand how good that is against Luigi. Um, I think it can be good though because a lot of the times Luigi like baits the Sheik into doing a bad up B angle by like being in like the middle of the stage and then just immediately wave dashing to ledge. So like if Price Tag is able to catch that with a forward air, you know, that could do some percent and like get him a completely free edge guy. That's probably he got that. Okay, so that was good. So he put himself in a good position for the misfire. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want to do that? Oh, that kind of worked. Uh, you can definitely grab that. Grab is a good thing there. Nair is also good if you're, like, just scared of them, uh, like, DIing your down throw really good or something. Um, oh, not the best ledge dash, but it makes it work. Oh, that's, um... Kind of the like difficulty of playing against Luigi with platforms is that on most of the stage he can DI your down throw onto the platform and like make you have to do a tech chase. But it's not as bad against Luigi because like if you have to platform tech chase him, he's a little bit easier because he doesn't have any like good moves to like do out of them except for Nair. Dude, that was really good. Baits the like Luigi main Nair. Um, I've been talking about Price Tag too much. I need to talk about Leon, even though I don't know how to play this character. Um, so the standard edge guard there is you have you do go for the down air. Um, you want to go for the reverse if you can get it, or if you can get like the spike one, you can probably do like down air into forward air or something. You do like some some cool, but um, Price Tag's kind of going off now with the the combos. Nice. Um, Price Tag has had a lot of good like run up grabs, which is not easy to get against this character because he can like he has such good ground movement. Oh, that was really good. <gasps> oh, I know. Oh, okay, that worked. Right there. Um, I mean, it worked out for him. He could have done a falling nair, which would like even a fastball falling nair because he had two stocks left, and that just guarantees the kill against Luigi. But it worked out there. Um, right early on, was just too far away. So, interesting stage. <laughs> Starts off with the voodoo dash. Um, okay, waits for the, waits for it before doing the aerial. Not a bad idea. Oh, nice. He's been getting a lot of needle grabs, like kind of wonky needle grabs on Leon, which I don't think are true. So it'll be interesting to see if Leon adapts to that um, as the set progresses. Oh, nice. He could have forward tilted after that down here. Maybe he got scared. Yeah, price tag, um, I don't know, like, Luigi is, you don't have to, uh, if you're not a ledge dashy player, if you can't ledge dash very well, you don't have faith in him, Luigi is, like, not that bad to play, okay, so, price tag, what's happening now, oh, nice, is he's getting stuck on the platforms, oh no, because if you, um, short hop as Sheik under those platforms, you'll auto cancel on them. And price tag is just accidentally doing that, and uh, oh nice, and getting stuck on them with forward smashing. So this is where the matchup can seem kind of difficult, is when Luigi like just isn't dying. Oh nice, so he's, he's gonna at least have a chance to recover here. Oh no, that's when it's bad. Um, you can get over ambitious in the edge guards, but you don't really have to, cause like 
I don't know. If you play the War of Attrition smartly and don't get like CC down smashed a bunch, like uh, Price Deck is getting right now, if you play the War of Attrition well, you should just beat Luigi, um, even if he like completely dominates the edge guard game in this matchup. Ooh. See, I don't know about that forward air, but I think Leon kind of flubbed with the back air. He could have hit that. Oh, nice one. Leon wanted to go a little bit further. That's why he was didn't do anything. Uh, good idea. Ooh, not the worst idea with the mirror. Oh, oh. I think Price Tag could have fast fall up B, sweet spotted there, and got him to the edge before Leon. Um, but he just kind of waited. He's having some really good needles at the edge, though. Leon needs to figure out what angles he wants to get back at so that he isn't hit by these needles anymore. Because Price Tag is doing a good job of not, like, just bearing him over and over from the ledge. Um, oh, no. He keeps getting stuck there. Ooh, nice. So this is where... Ooh, yeah. And you see, see, yeah. This is where the matchup can start to get difficult is because um, Luigi's just going to CC everything and... Get these little like two, three hit combos. Nice shield. So yeah, Luigi, every time you think he's like is just gonna down air and land, he's gonna down air and nair afterwards. Uh, that's just how it goes. Oh nice. What's going on? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Alright. Uh, uh Leon. And they go to Fountain, which I don't really agree with this. What do you think? I don't know. I think actually it's a, probably a good stitch for Sheik in this matchup. I think it's I think it's okay, but it's he, he hasn't used Yoshi's yet, and I think Yoshi's could be a good stage as well. Yeah, you definitely don't want to give Luigi space to like, run around in, so Luigi's yeah. good. But I think like Luigi's super like movement based and like platform movement based, so he could be trying to mess up like his platform movement. That is like, true. That's been tricking him up. That is true. Um and price tag also, so there's this thing on on Yoshi's and on Stadium where Sheik can't short hop below the platforms or she'll auto land on them. And price tag was getting stuck in that a lot, so um, I don't know if that factored into his decision at all. But um, just gonna have personal preference. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Oh, that was kind of cool. So I was also saying that you don't want it. Like, might seem like you want to just back air Luigi when he's coming back with Sheik. Like just like jump from the ledge back here is side B, but that's actually not good because if he di's it right, he'll just gain height every time. So he'll like eventually get back. So Price Tag has been doing really good with like waiting for the side B's to come out, uh, needling the side B's. Like he hasn't been going for back airs, which is good. Yeah, so needles is needles are like fair. Yeah, needles are very good in such way. Um. So I've been here for the rest of the set. Like, how's it been going between the two? Has it been close? What was like the yeah, game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, these have been close games, I would say. Oh no, you don't want to di in on that. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, on fast followers, at least, Luigi has a like not chain grab, but like good punch reaction. Game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, up throw thing. Oh, I see. And Unch you want to di that behind it because it makes it significantly harder. Yeah. And so I'm looking at him. De how he's DIing his <gasps> up throws, and he seems to. Uh, he went way too deep. I don't think he needed fast fall that. No. And it seems like he's DIing it not behind Luigi. So I'm not sure if that still applies to Cheek. No, it does. On most characters. Okay, that was good. Uh, on most characters, you want to DI Luigi's throws behind. Um, that just makes the, the um, combos harder for him. This matchup is like. It, it might look like terrible for Luigi, but it's actually not that bad. He has a lot of these like one, two hit combos he can get, and he has a good CC against Sheik. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, I, was talk oh, good. I was talking to Leon earlier, and he was saying his worst, Luigi's worst matchups, or at least he thought was uh, Falco, Marth, Falcon. And so Falco, the worst one. Mm -hmm, Falco. Yeah. That makes sense, because Laser's just, oh no. That's it. Uh, did Price pause that? Yeah. Um, lasers are very good at interrupting his uh, shenanigans. Um, good stuff to Leon. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. I choked my last set. Oh, no. Who was it against? <laughs> uh, Item Hog. Oh, no. I, like, choked game five, and I choked <gasps> game one. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Who's on? 
Both of us? Oh, okay. Yeah. We need to play. Our man stream. Survival! 
Two. <laughs> 